Today, we're having Gran Centenario Tequila Leyenda, which is really a sipping tequila. And we're pairing it with churros, a classic Mexican dessert. We're gonna dip them in a spiked up cajeta sauce with Gran Centenario Tequila Reposado, which makes that sauce just earthy and nutty. It goes so well with the churros. Mexicans, we feel like churros are our very own and so deeply Mexican. The truth is we inherited churros from Spain, but we just feel like they're very, very Mexican. I grew up eating churros, my kids love churros, and it's really hard to get a good churro recipe, to the point that I had to go to my friend Alam Mendez, who makes the best ever churros, and he shared his recipe, and I'm sharing it here with you. So we're starting with the cajeta sauce. To make the cajeta sauce, I'm gonna use Gran Centenario Tequila Reposado, and I'm gonna add two ounces, which is going to add a taste of like almond and vanilla, and it's gonna give it some earthy taste. I'm letting the alcohol evaporate, and I just wanna keep the flavors of the reposado. And you can see the tequila is simmering. I have a cup of cajeta, which is like Mexico's dulce de leche. I'm gonna pour it in here with the cooked down tequila. And I'm adding a quarter cup of milk, and we're gonna let it simmer for two to three minutes, just until it all comes together and it thickens just a little. Let me have a little taste. <gasps> That's like a volcano of cajeta. Mmm. Mmm, this is so good. Cajeta is just very rustic and caramelly and I can taste the reposado and this is perfect. Next, we're going to make the churros. Saucepan over medium heat and then we're gonna pour one cup of water, one cup of sparkling water, which is gonna make the dough be really fluffy and light. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract, three tablespoons of butter. As the butter starts melting into this mixture, I'm gonna add in here two cups of flour plus two tablespoons. And I am not sifting the flour, I'm just measuring like that. In Mexico, churros are something that you go out for. There's churro stands, there's churrerias, but it's a great thing to be able to make them at home. One tablespoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt. To get a really good dough, it has to be malleable and soft, and so having the sparkling water mixed with the butter will give you that fluffiness on the inside. So we're adding all of the flour, it smells like vanilla, it smells so delicious. You wanna really mix it well so that it's not clumpy. And then I'm gonna transfer it to my mixer. You wanna continue beating the dough while it's still hot over really low speed. You can see how the dough is really getting softer and softer and softer. Once the dough has cooled down, you're gonna add two eggs Continue beating until they're fully incorporated. Oh, this is beautiful! This is how you want the dough. Super smooth, almost feels elastic. I have my pastry bag ready. You need a star tip to make your churros. As soon as they're beautifully crisp and golden brown, you're gonna take them out of the oil, drain the excess of oil, and put them in this sugar and cinnamon coating. And then, that's it. You have your churros ready. We're going to pair the churros with a cajeta dipping sauce with the Gran Centenario Tequila Leyenda. This is really a sipping tequila. Mm, it is so rich, a little bit caramelly. It feels silky and luxurious, and I'm gonna chase my churros with it. Mm, perfect churros.
crisp. Inside, they're fluffy, and outside, they're so crisp. You get the sugar and the cinnamon, and when you dip it in this cajeta dipping sauce, it has the rich caramel taste, and then it has the almond and the vanilla from the reposado tequila. So delicious. Salud.